Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tactics Ogre Reborn. Last time we left off, we were hanging out here in the Palace of the Dead and made it to floor, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, 65. So, I realized I didn't actually look at one of the relics we got. Uh, one of the guns, yeah, the Petronel. Powerful flintlock pistol carved with intricate designs. 115 damage. And yeah, of course, the Buccaneer and Fusilier classes can use it. Cool. Don't know, uh, if it'll be used or not, but, uh, yeah, we've looked at that now, so... With that, uh, I guess it's off to Palace of the Dead, level 66. Um, I do believe there's still more Warren Report stuff that I need to check out. Uh, or did we finish it all last time? No, 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 we didn't finish these. Okay. So we'll read those, uh, at the end of the episode, assuming I remember in the next three hours. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get in here and see what we can do. So, just a bunch of ogres, dragons, that's a onyx dragon, which I can't recruit. Uh, so yeah, dragons and ogres, and uh, ooh. Ooh, a basilisk. Ooh, okay, you were hidden over there. I want to recruit you, or not want to, not, not recruit you, kill you. So that'll be something to work on. Okay, okay, okay. All right, that should be a dead. Yeah, oh, you dropped a card? Oh, that sucks. Um, I, I do believe someone mentioned I can just go back and uh, hopefully he'll drop items instead because dropping a card is obviously not ideal. Uh, I would much, much rather get something else. So let's see if we can grab something else instead. Died again and I got a card again. I don't want a card. Why, why in the world would I go through the trouble of killing such a crazy monster for a card? Tactics Ogre. I can get those anywhere. Another card. Oh my god! Okay, I'm just of the opinion this thing doesn't want to give me a card. Or it doesn't want to give me items. Um, it seems like it's just dropping different cards, no matter what. That's four times now, and it just drops cards, so... Uh, we'll see other ones. I'm done with this. So, let's see if I can kill the rest of these characters really quickly. There we go. That's a battle done. Phew. <clears throat> Alrighty, we are finished with one. And of course, I did have to use the Chariot Tarot, because I was trying to get a drop from that creature, but... Maybe those are, like, seated to always be either cards or drops? I, I don't know. I also saw someone mention that uh, I can change semi-uniques and stuff into, uh, and you, like, denim into a lich. But I've, I, I know I saw a comment way earlier on in this where someone was like, you want generics because generics are the only ones that can come, that can become some of the best classes. Which I assume meant lich, but it seems like anybody can become a lich. Maybe it means skeletons and stuff? Um, for the divine knights and all that? It's been a long time since I've seen that comment, so that's probably the case. Uh, alrighty, so... We didn't really get anything super crazy in there. Um, I got like one piece of equipment, but I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Um, I should also mention that, um, these things, someone mentioned it's called the Smelly Set. And, uh, apparently, if you have all bits of this Smelly Set, then, uh, nothing will attack you. Which is interesting. Or, well, they will avoid you. They might still attack you, but they'll avoid you. Oh, I remember what I got now. Uh, I got worm scale. Yeah, worm scale sleeves. Right here. So, that's cool. Extra protection against those. They specifically call them sleeves. Does that mean, like, uh... No. I didn't think that was the case, but I thought I would check. So, uh, sure, Denim. You can have the worm scale sleeves. They seem slightly better for you. So. Yay. Alright, onward to floor 67. And it looks like we're gonna have another branch in the path here. See exactly what we're dealing with. Golem that has Gordian Lock, yep. And some dragons. A bunch of golems that have Gordian Lock, actually. There's only, well, like, two actual humanoid units here. The rest is just golems and stuff. Interesting. Alright, well, uh, have at it. You dorks. No point in putting Rudlam in, he never uses Gordian Key anyway. 
Alrighty. That is another fight done. If I can untangle my controller from my my boom arm there. There we go. Okay, we got uh, resistance, avoidance charms, all that cool jazz. Oh my god, my cables. There we go. And we're gonna make it to another one. I've actually been doing this so long that I'm I'm bored of vampire survivors. Isn't that crazy? I'm actually like, eh. I need to find something else to play while I'm going through this long-ass dungeon and tactic circle. <laughs> okay, uh, I gotta refer to the map really quickly. Okay, these both lead to the same spot. Um, and then I want to go to 71 after 70. 72 is a dead end. So, let's see what this battle looks like. Uh, just a few of you idiots, really? Man, I wish I could get the rogue class. It would be cool to have another class. Yeah. Fortunately, I don't actually know why they took the rogue class away. I don't, uh... I don't remember the, uh... Yeah, what, why the reason for that was. Or if anyone mentioned it, but... That's weird. That they just took it away. I thought it would have been because of the, because of the Quicken thing. Like, Quicken was too OP? Speedster or whatever? But the Buccaneer and stuff have access to it, so that can't be it. So I don't know exactly what made the rogue class broken. Alrighty, there is another one down. And another one bites the dust. Beautiful. I had some incapacitated units, but we did win without using the chariot tarot. Wonderful, wonderful. Alright, so now to floor 70, and then from here we want to go to 71. So, we'll have to keep that in mind. A lot of these battles are short. There's not very many of the 12 ones. It's a bunch of 8s. So, makes it a little bit easier. Oh, hey, this is the first time I'm seeing one of you, I think. Witch King, a vile magic user whose power inspires equal parts fear and respect. Well, if I get Elowin, then you're, you're going down, Witch King. Alrighty. So, nothing super crazy going on here. We'll just go ahead and do the battle. Alrighty. There we go. That's another victory. Good stuff. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We got a glistening helm. That looks really cool, actually. <clears throat> Didn't use the chariot arrow, so I got some mind charms as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty. So... Next we have, uh, 71 is where I wanted to go, so this one. Um, but let's check out what that Glistening Helm does, why don't we? Glistening Helm. Uh, just appears to be a good helm. Uh, gives me extra avoid in mind, so maybe best for Donalto. Helm that has seen use by countless warriors, it exudes an unpleasant smell. Oh, never mind, that's more of the smelly set. So, I just need the, um, I have the gauntlets, I have the sword, and I have the helmet. I just need the, the smelly legs, and the smelly chest, and maybe a smelly ring. And then we're good. And then we're good. Okay. Neato. So that's what that is. Uh, alright, so Palace of the Dead level 71. We're definitely making it to 75 today. Um, that is for sure. We might even go further. I may just say screw it and go to like 80 or something. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's only an hour into the recording so far, and we've already almost hit my my goal for today's episode, so... It's definitely a thing to think about. Oh god. Cockatrices. Dragons. We're not running into zombie dragons anymore, which is a bit unfortunate, because I did want some zombie dragons. I might recruit some of these humans, though, since they're zombies as well. They could be useful. Ooh, mage's mitts. Oh, those sound nice. Oh, those sound quite nice. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll recruit a few of you dorks. We'll see if we can pull it off. And yeah, there's a bunch of beasties for me to kill, but alrighty. Alright, that should be everything dead. There's quite a few people on the ground because Donalto got petrified at one point. And, uh, I was trying to recruit some of these zombies. I just got one. We got a rude bow. Hello, rude bow, bow. Oh, God. <laughs> that was the shittiest reference. 
<laughs> Remember, I don't even know. I don't even know who sings that song, the Hello Rude Boy Boy song. Um, but we've never got this before. That was awful. Yay! Let's act like that never happened. <laughs> Doing these damn dungeons is making me loopy. Um, all right. So Frederick is going to join the party. Um, I grabbed you because you are a uh, warrior, and you have the dragon claws. You seem like you'll be a pretty good fit for the party. Nice, nice tanky zombie warrior if I need it, so. Alright, now we're going towards 73. Let's do it. Ten slots open for this. Alrighty, so... Oh, okay, yeah, that is actually a lot of enemies. Uh... Yikes, that, that's a lot of enemies. Not a lot of annoying ones, though. Um, the humans definitely can hit hard, but they're not as bad as some of the beasties, like this idiot right here. So they shouldn't be too bad. Um, we'll throw in Azelstan, and how about Aracel as well, just for uh, just for good measure, just in case we need to get a, uh, get a charm off there. It seems like a good call to me. We'll go ahead and assign AI to everyone, and you can all get started. Have fun in there, squad. Ooh, that's new. Virat's Thundercoat. Uh, this battle is actually pretty uh, pretty difficult. It's very, very easy to get overwhelmed by all of these uh, different enemies. They're quite strong. I mean, they are like five levels higher than me at this point. Alrighty. There we go. That is a victory. Uh, I actually got another one of those uh, things. Oh wow, I got another glistening helm too. Um, I got two of the thunder coats, which is uh, neato. So that's nice. We got a uh, we got a bunch of that. So um, let's check out what exactly that does. That might be good on my. Uh, I imagine it's an upgrade to this kind of- no, actually. Hmm. I thought it was gonna be this type of equipment. A brigandine- oh, it's a brigandine. It looked kind of like a robe thing, crafted by the giant Virat, who is said to have fought alongside the ogres themselves. Enhances earth abilities and resistance. Earth abilities, huh? Um... Who would that go on? Canopus, it would give you more dex. Which would increase your your damage by a little bit. Also give you five HP, however much that's worth. Um, as well, Stan, you also have this garbage on. Hmm. I mean, they seem cool. Uh, I'm just not sure who I would want to put it on. You can't. Oh wait, Arcel can wear it. Um, maybe. Yeah, yeah, sure. Take it, Arcel. You can have one of them. Uh, I have two, after all, right? Well, I picked up two. I- I know for a fact I picked up two. Weird? Maybe- maybe I- I was gonna say I guess an enemy picked it up, but there were no undead enemies to steal it in that fight. Weird. Um, apparently you can't have more than three of the same relic as- as far as I understand, but... I thought I picked up two. Jeez. Weird. Uh, okay. So, 74. This is a story battle. This is a story battle. When with an archer, perform an action to exercise an undead enemy. So we are going to cancel the AI on everyone. Uh, I do think I want Arcel in. Who else do I want in? Uh, I think we can maybe swap out Azelstan for uh, Reynard here. And maybe swap out Sestina for Regina. Other than that, I think we're pretty good here. I like Reynard because he does do a pretty good amount of damage with that Meteor Strike. Um, I don't have access to like Meteor Strike 4 or anything like that now, though it would be cool. Hmm. Banish would allow you to still... I mean, that's more useful than Black Plume, so sure. Turn a single stilled undead unit to dust. Yeah, here we go. So that way you can exercise things too, Reynard. Alright, let's uh... Let's get in here. Level 74. 75 is where I was planning to stop, but I do think we can go for a little bit longer. Ah, wonderful. 
I was hoping we'd meet again. I wasn't. You and that necromancer have even more insatiable appetites for knowledge than I. Okay, so you don't... You, you know of Nybeth, but it seems like you're not, like, one of his cronies or anything like that. You are separate. Perhaps you are driven by some unquenchable desire? An ambition that fears not even death. Do not mistake me. Ambition is vital. Those without cannot prevail in the inevitable contest for survival. Survival doesn't need to be a contest. Espouse whatever lofty ideals you wish. We all exist in this world to satisfy our baser desires. Are you coming on to me? <sighs> I feel it. That dark desire deep within your heart. I I, I think you have the wrong idea, Bezelbuff. I I barely know you, and being in this dungeon for as long as you have, you probably haven't showered very much, so eh? Go go quench your dark desires somewhere you else. Are a fitting supplicant to this temple. You are closer to the dark than any I know. Okay. So you want, uh, you want denim specifically. A golem. Oh, that's a pain in my ass. They better not have Gordian lock. There would be, there would be no way to prepare for it. I mean, I guess all I gotta do is kill Beezlebuff. I don't actually have to actually kill all of these enemies, which is nice. So maybe I just kill you. I don't know. We will see. I tire of this body. Mayhaps I'll take yours. You know, I, you know, I'm flattered, Beezlebuff, but no, no, you, you can't have my body. Don't worry. I'll put your companions' bodies to good use too. An orgy, is it? Interesting. I still don't think it's a good idea. I don't consent to this. There are many, many souls in need of bodies, flesh, and blood to anchor them to this world. You remember Georges? How he pesters me to find him a suitable vessel. I obviously know she's not talking about sex. I'm just being an idiot. Yes. Let us dance your final dance. The time is nigh. I guess I shouldn't say... Well, well I mean, in this body... Um, she might be correct, but considering you're apparently just talking about hopping bodies, uh, yeah, I mean, that doesn't really apply, does it? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? No one. Beezlebolt. Level 50. All I have to do is vanquish you. Um, I don't have to worry about killing any Your of these other things. Too is but another branch upon the dark lineage. You're not so different from we demons of the dark. Oh, okay. That's an interesting idea. You're a demon, just inhabiting, you're possessing a human. No. Your souls are born from ours. And as long as this is true, you will never claim the light. If you say so. Okay, you're probably about to... Okay, no, you just charged. Whew. Okay, okay, we have an opportunity to just run forward and absolutely murk you. So, um, let's do th I can reach you with this. 132, that's acceptable. So, I don't need to do too much damage to you, just enough. Because, uh, I kind of don't want you hitting me. You're level 50. Um, and you have Summon Darkness, so, yeah, you also have Summon Darkness, so there's no point in killing any of the enemies, because, um, you'll just summon more. Uh, you'd have Banish, and yeah, you have Meteor Strike 3, which is intimidating. So, yeah, I'm just gonna kill you. Um, definitely, definitely just gonna kill you. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get in here. Oh, you don't have any. Damn it, you didn't get your Meditate. Sorry, I'm very disappointed in you. Raynard, you too. Bad, all of you. The golem appears to be guarding. 
Okay, well, let's go ahead and get Denim in there. Sherry- oh my god, no meditates! It was just you. That was it. Engulf? Eh. Not particularly useful. Uh, there's a chance I charm Fabali, but... There we go, that's beautiful. This is why I bring you along, Arcel. Don't heal her. Damn you. Oh, don't... Oh, don't hit with your stupid staff. Did you have no MP? Is that the problem? Oh, Donalto gets Meditate. Uh... Here, Donalto, give some MP to... Mathai here. Um, there is something interesting that, uh, someone mentioned about, um, Mathai's ability, the MP salvation thing, where he, like, drains MP from people. Um, the Elder Skills go in the order you have them equipped, so if you put the MP salvation first, you can basically, like... What's the, what's the word? You, you can give your MP away, and then restore it right after. Because you, you, like, spread your MP out, I believe was the skill. Which is interesting. Or was it you drain? I don't, I don't remember which one. I don't remember. I think it's if you have under a certain amount, you drain. If you have over a certain amount, you spread it out. Something like that. But, yeah. It's interesting. We will fly right here with Canopus. Uh, Regina, you did not get anything. Um... We can have you charge yourself. Oh, excuse me. Alright, Methai, I know you have enough. Good. Ooh, and you have a reflection, yes. Um, so you can stand right here. Uh, okay, not gonna do a ton of damage. But, uh, it's fine. I like to think Mathai's voice is like a ghoul from Fallout. Hey, smooth skin. Gonna cast my hellhound here. Like that. That kind of voice. Don't hit me with your stupid sword. Okay, those dragons shouldn't have an opportunity to get up. Uh, there's the Putrefy. You hit yourself because, uh, Mathai, so that was pretty good damage. Um, not much for you to do. Yeah, that Putrefy hurt a lot. Um, but that just means you did a bunch of damage to yourself. Because you're not undead. Well, that is what I'm scared of. That kind of stuff right there. So, can we get in and drop... I can do an Annihilation. Can't do a Supernova. Okay, well that's 98 more damage. Don't need to do much more. I don't know if I'm actually killing you here, or if you're just gonna, uh, shift stone away. Not really sure what the deal is. Denim, you'll be able to drop that one attack of yours. Yeah, this should be enough to get you low, at least. If it doesn't kill because of the crit. Okay, no, we do have to actually defeat you, defeat you. Okay. And they're healing you, which is annoying. But... Let's say Charmed Faded. Damn it, you're not Charmed anymore. Annoying. Oh yeah, and now you can use your magic. Asshole. Okay, um... No ranged attacks for Canopus to use. Let's just heal you up, Canopus. That looks fine to me. Just kind of, my strategy is to just bum rush the boss at the moment, so... Uh, 108 damage, so if you move in, this should be a kill. Assuming it hits enough times. Bang, bang. Nope. It, of course it was one less than I needed. Damn. Regina's turn is coming up, but that healer is absolutely gonna heal the boss, so... Regina's not gonna be able to pull it off either. Unfortunately. Yeah. I keep getting you to such low health, and then you just barely survive. If only my stupid summon had hit four times. We wouldn't be having this problem. Okay. That's another 200. Or it missed? Weird. Huh. Uh, okay. Um, I can hit you for 48 damage. I mean, that's something. Let's just hit you. And then, um, Olivia, hopefully you can just finish things off for me, please. Make my life a little bit easier here. Mathai's turn is coming up too, so... Uh... Hmm. 
There's no guarantee the amount of these that I want to hit will hit you, so I guess I'm gonna go with Dread Vapor. Yeah, because there's- it's just gonna spread them out across all of them. So Dread Vapor it is. There we are. 160. You keep surviving with like 2 HP. You annoying idiot. That's a Berserker. Uh... God, finally. Shine! Bastard. <clears throat> Hopefully you don't turn into a lich or something and it's a phase two. <clears throat> weak. Too weak. This corporeal form. But remember. As long as this palace to the dark remains, those who dwell upon the surface will venture here to satisfy their desire for power. And when they come, I will take their bodies as my own, and once again feel warm blood coursing through my veins. Interesting. So you're just a demon that's inhabiting this place, and this witcher that you were taking over is probably just someone that came in here at some point. Very interesting. Well, now that I know you're a demon, it makes sense that your name is nearly Beezlebub, so that makes sense. We will meet again. Hmm. I wonder, what if the final boss was you taking over Nybeth? Maybe Nybeth's too strong for you, or you would have already taken him over. God, that was quite the death scream. There's not a single death scream in this game that's went that hard. Jesus. That voice actor was like, uh-uh. I've been given a job. I'm doing a job, damn it. <laughs> wow. Alrighty. Oh, well, there we go. We won. Good, good. My auto items have been restocked. Palace of the Dead 75 is where we are headed next. Which, um, I do believe this is just a generic level again. Would have made more sense for the story mission to be here, instead of 74, to me, but what can you do? More golems with Guardian Lock, but uh, as far as everything else goes, nothing really too crazy. So goodbye RSL, and goodbye Raynard. Alright you dorks, get in there, make me proud. Alright, we're done. I was uh, absolutely not back to playing Vampire Survivors, definitely not. Okay, there we go. Max HP, Vitality. I would have liked to get that Dex, but, uh... A whale. Everybody did very, very well in their little battle. Alright, the Depths. We only have 25 more left. So from here, it looks like... Um... Whoops. Uh... Alright, so we want to go... We can go down either of these paths except... Wait... Wait, let me, uh, get back over here. So, 76 and 78 lead to the same places. Um, actually, no. No, that's not true at all. 78 leads to a dead end. There you go, 78, 79, 85, 86, 80, 87, 89. But if I go, or 78 leads to a dead end. If I go to 76, I go 76, 81, 84, and then I'm right down to 88. Ooh, could we finish the palace today? Mayhaps? Let's see what... Uh, ooh, 12? Don't like the look of that. Okay, it's just... It's just this. Oh, hey! Look at you. A day gone for me to murder. Might have to, uh... Might have to try and murder that. Well, that's neat. There's another lich in here. A lich king. Uh, okay. Well, we have a bunch of undead, and we have a golem. Which, uh, does not have Gordian Lock, thank god. Uh, that's cool. Alright, so we can throw some more characters in here. Um... Sestino's not really needed. RSL, probably. Um... Like I said, Raynard is pretty strong. Let's do Fulkert. He hasn't been in in a while. Murden and Azelstan. That looks uh, that looks good to me. Let's make sure everybody's AI is active and let go. I will probably try to kill that Dagon. Um, 
Just makes sense to me. The enemies really just screwed up. They attacked the uh, Dagon for me. Uh, quite convenient. So thank you for that, idiots. Now you're gonna get your ass kicked. We just got alluring thigh boots or high boots, I think that said. So we got a different form of the alluring boots. Interesting. I didn't know there was a different form of them, but apparently there is. No, damn it. I was in the middle of killing the Dagon, and I had changed everyone off of auto except for Mapai. Apparently, I forgot. That sucks. Oh, I also got the alluring corset. That doesn't look like a corset, that just looks like a dress. Interesting. I'm guessing the corset's under the dress. Uh, and we also got lightning gauntlets. Um, I actually picked up a Virat's coat, too, so it looks like I picked one up and one dropped. Okay, we got quite a few good things from that. It sucks I couldn't kill the, uh, thing. I was working on it, but I forgot to change, uh, Mathai off of auto. So, we now have, yeah, two Thundercoats, and there's the corset. Which, uh, sensuous corset popular with the more adventurous. There we are. Um, let's see here. Where, where are you? Here you go, friend. There you go. I mean, come on, I got her, right? It lowers your stats. It's not, it's not super worth it. The boots are nice, but it's not super worth it. It would be funny, though, to have you in the sexy outfit. It would be hilarious. The rotting corpse. Um, so... Oh yeah, we also got, also got Earth and Greaves at one point. Which... Uh, just enhances Earth abilities and resistance, which is whatever. Um, so what else did we get? Um, I got some other things. Uh, oh yeah, we did get this rude bow that I never looked at. It's just a light elemental bow. Does extra damage to undead. Cool. Uh, alright. Oh yeah, the other interesting thing, uh, somebody pointed out... Oh, I thought somebody said the supple whip was one-handed. It's not actually one-handed. Maybe it was before. I could have sworn somebody said that. But, uh, yeah, because I was gonna- I was gonna give Gamp, like, a shield or something. But, uh, yeah, it's still two-handed. Um, let's see here. I really need some better axes for you, friend. We're not finding any, like, cool legendary axes or anything. Uh, okay, let me remind myself of what in the world other things we picked- Oh yeah, I picked up more of these. The Thundercoat. So I picked up the Corset, the Thundercoat... And I swear there was something else. Oh yeah, these. The alluring high boots. Okay, so... Are they just an upgrade to the other boots? If so, Mathai's getting them. They are just a straight up upgrade to the other boots. Alright Mathai, there you go. Enjoy, friend. Your alluring high boots. Yes. Uh, there we go. Cool. You can wear those until you get more shishus. Enjoy your sexy boots. Alrighty, that looks good to me. Um, what are you out of, Surya? Blessing stones? Ooh, we need more blessing stones. Uh, that might be a problem, actually. I don't know if there's another shop um, coming up anytime soon. Let's see, we are on floor 76. So we're going to 81 next. I have to imagine there's a shop like, right before the, uh, thing. I should have hit the shop again before I came into the next area. Oh well. Let's hope there's another one here. If not, we're, uh, we're in a spot of trouble. Because I am out of Blessing Stones. And that'll make a lot of these fights much more annoying. That's a lot of enemies, but nothing too crazy. This is... a Lore Master. That's interesting. Two cockatrices, a bunch of dragons. That's pretty obnoxious. But, uh, I think the squad we have right now is probably the best bet. We'll just go with them. Like I said, Sestina never uses the... Actually, no, let's take out Fulker and put in Sestina, because at least the auto skill goes off. Alright, that should be a win. Things got a little bit sketchy right there. Uh, Olivia and Denim were both at one. But the AI managed to pull it off. A whale whisker coat. That's different. That also looks like a brigandine. And we got two of those. 
God, you get so many stat charms for these levels. You could just keep replaying these and just get ridiculously strong. Like, just let it auto-battle. You get a ton of stuff. Okay, well... Party. What does this, uh, what does this whisker coat look like? Who's it for? Looks like another Dexy kind of thing. It seems to be just, yeah, a different version of this. It's more water resistant than the other. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, that's interesting. Um, but not many characters I would really want to put it on. Holbrim can have it, I guess. There you go, friend. No one else can... You can equip it, actually. Um, is that better than what you currently have? Mm. It does increase your damage a little bit. Though you do lose a little bit of vitality. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. E I don't think it increases your damage enough to make it worth it. You can have it though, Gamp. Or I can put the alluring corset on Gamp. There we go. Let's just give you that. Enjoy that, friend. Enjoy that. Alright, cool. So, we got some more cool things out of that. We are running out of stuff, though. Um, so we're going to 84 now, and then I can skip straight to 88. Which, uh, is apparently a story battle. It just says CODA in parentheses, which I swear I've seen comments say that before as well. Um, I have absolutely no idea what that means, but, uh, I, I, I guess we'll see, huh? Um, who's coming out of the party? Probably RSL? Let's check and see what the battle looks like here. Uh, some dragons... There's actually a lot of units in here for... Just eight. Hmm. Yeah, I think this party can probably do it, though. So, go ahead, you dorks. Go have fun, you crazy kids. Alright. That is the battle done. Oh, <sighs> okay, here we go. Vitality, dexterity. We got a bunch of charms to spend. Um, so I'll probably be using those relatively soon here. But 88 is apparently a story battle. We will see if that is the case. Um, it doesn't appear to be the case. That might be because this is an old, uh... Yep, yep, that might be because this is an old, uh, an old map. Okay, that's fine. That's cool, then. So, uh, I can just go ahead and win this battle with, uh, these dorks. That sounds A-OK -okay to me. It's just a pretty simple fight with a few enemies. Go for it, you idiots. Things are a little bit more difficult because, uh, I'm running out of blessing stones, but, uh, it's not too bad. We're, we're managing. We're managing. This is just a weird thing I've noticed, but, um... Do the AI for Olivia and Denim just naturally gravitate towards going to the same area together? Because I swear they do. Every single battle I put them just on AI, it always seems like Olivia and Denim go down the same path. So, that's interesting, especially given, uh, their past that we know about. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's just funny to me. I always swear there's... This happened on the last map, too. It, you could go left or you could go right. All of my other characters went right, Olivia and Denim... Or, all of my other characters went left, Olivia and Denim went to the right, alone. What are you two doing down there? You better not be macking on each other when you're supposed to be battling. That's not gonna fly. Ho oh, ho 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 ho. That was so close. So... <clears throat> Donalto was silenced. Sherry was about to die. I needed him to be unsilenced so that Sherry would resurrect. He got unsilenced exactly the turn I needed to. My other option was to kill these enemies, but... They both survived with barely any HP, and Donalto couldn't kill them by himself, so... Cool. Sherry lives to see another day. Like I said, the No Blessing Stone struggle... Oh, wait... Why the hell would you... No, 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 we're, we're... We're running that back, I'm sorry. Sherry, you idiot. No, we need to save those, you doofus. Stop that. Alright. Get get the stupid idiot back up. 
And then we can end this battle. Gotta save what few blessing stones I have left. Alrighty. Uh, I also uh, realized what Coda was. Um, it uh, mentions on the map here. Uh, Coda's the post-game dungeon, as far as I understand. So, yeah. The reeking armor. We got it. Fortunately, I did not get uh, the charms from that battle, but that's that's fine. Ooh. We are doing it. Okay, floor 90. So where we go from here, we have to go to 90? And then we need to go from there to 95. So we are dreadfully close to the end here. So here's hoping this can work out in my favor. Um, ooh, ooh, this looks like a nasty one. Ooh, I don't like this one one bit. This one looks pretty annoying. Uh, yeah, there's another gravestone. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we got gorgons and stuff to deal with. Um, I can, of course, take, like, the blessing stones off of my party members I'm not using. Uh, the other thing I could do is put, like, Frederick in. Because Frederick's a zombie, he doesn't, he doesn't need to be revived. Uh, there's an idea. Maybe. Maybe we put Frederick in? Hmm. Hmm. Oh wow, you have double impacts. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, see what I can do with the party here. Oh, I can't change your class if you're a zombie? Oh. Weird. Zombie units cannot change class. Huh. Okay. Well, you're, you're stuck as a... You're stuck as a warrior, I suppose. Um, I think I'll give you... Vigorous attacks, uh... Let's give you double impact and the HP increasing thing. I think those, uh, those will be useful. Alright, that should be victory. Yes. The squad did pretty well. Uh, I put in the ghost and I put in my, uh, my flyer. So, that was cool. We got a Nathalork mail. Nath- Nathalork, okay. And the nine hells is that? We got it. Whatever it is. Cool. Um, I'm also realizing, uh, you had pretty poopy spells, I think. Yeah, you just had Word of Pain. Um, I think I have another meteor, uh, knocking around here somewhere for you. There it is. Oh no, I only have one meteor strike. Okay, never mind. Oh, but you can- oh wait, no, there's meteor strike three. You can use the, uh, the Draconic Magic, though. Interesting. Well, there you go. Take a Meteor Strike. That looks fine. Uh, I should put some skills on you, though. Uh, oh, you have Gordian Key. Well, you are a Warlock. Okay, wait, no, that makes sense. What classes could I change you to, by the way? Just Wizard and Warlock. Okay. Pretty simple, then. So, yeah, let's put, like, Golem's Bane on you, Meditate, and Engulf. I forgot to set up your skills. Whoopsie doopsie. Okay, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful. So now immediately to 95. 100 is where we want to go. And after 95, we skip to 97. So we are extremely close. I can, I can smell. Can you smell, can you smell that? That's, that's the smell of Nybeth and his rotting ass. We, we, we are near. We are close. Alrighty. So, it doesn't look like there's anything too interesting here. Just a bunch of dorks. So, these idiots can handle that. Go ahead and do it, squad. Oh, wait. Um, the, the Nathalork armor. What's the, what's the Nathalork armor like? Uh, oh yeah, we have the reeking armor, too. You wanna smell bad. Uh, okay. Breastplate made from the rock-hard skin of the beast Nathalork. And hence there's... Earth abilities and resistance. I mean, it gives you dex, uh, and it does give you some extra defenses. It gives you intelligence, interestingly enough. And yeah, you can wear it. Huh. Oh wait, no, Sistina's not one of them. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I could, I could make Surya stinky, but I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I guess we're getting it to you. Um... Five extra int? I mean, I don't... 
can't really think of anyone else I would want that extra in int on. Yeah. Yeah, Sestina's the best option for it. Alright, Sestina, here you go. Enjoy your new armor. I hope you like it. And yeah, basically everybody's out of uh, Blessing Stones and stuff now. Um, Holbrum has some. RSL has some. Maybe I'll put like RSL in this battle. Who are we going to take out? Regina? You get replaced by RSL. Yeah, that sounds good to me. There we go. Alright, that is a win. Wasn't too bad, that fight. The fair few drops on the ground for me to pick up, too. Got some more mages mitts. Should probably give those to... I did have to use the chariot tarot because, uh, Donalto was an idiot and revived the wrong character, so Sherry almost died. But, um... We're fine. Alrighty, so... Uh, what was I gonna do in here? I swear there was something I wanted to do. Oh god, we're running out of Mindy Savs too? Yike. Uh, we are very, very close though. Extremely close. Okay, we have two more floors before we hit 100. So, we are almost there. And I think I have, um... I think I have enough Mending, uh or uh, Blessing Stones on, like, other characters and stuff. So we should be able to make it here. Um, definitely gonna put uh, my one dork in. Where's, uh, who am I taking out? Canopus? This is a very... Oh, no, Canopus can fly. Um, let's take out RSL and put in uh, my ghost. My ghost uh, Leopold over here will be pretty effective. Um, at dealing with the golems and stuff, so. so. That's new, that looks like a fist weapon? It just looks like a boxing glove to me. And it's Huitzilopochtli's Rays. I butchered the absolute hell out of that, but that is not something I'm familiar with. There we go. Golem fell down and died. Alrighty. That was 97. So we have 99, and then I can move- Ooh, intelligence. Intelligence charms, those are nice. Okay, we are getting there. We are getting there, 99, and then there's- There it is. There it is, right there. That is, as far as I understand, the max where we can go right now. Um, it seems like in post-game you can go a little bit further, but, uh, for now, that is our max, so we are going to do it! Oh my god, hello. A titan. Never killed one of you before. Might attempt to kill you if I can successfully pull it off. We shall see. Gee, Yigla's bow is new. I have not seen that before. Okay. Neato. Still thinking I'm gonna try and get up there and kill that titan. We do have to start reviving some people, though. Denalto. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That enemy just exercised my ghost! No! You bastard! Uh, oh no, that's, uh, that's not good. I like my, uh, I like my ghost. Um... Let's see here. I got. I got to fix this. Um, you you can just be picked up like most characters, right? Nope. Says so zero percent chance. Ah, oh, so that's the struggle of having you guys. Wow. Um, if you can if you can just be exercised like that, that's not good. Okay. Operation save my ghost friend is a success. Yay. Ghost friend stays alive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been exercising the enemies this entire time, but as soon as they do it to me, it's a big surprise because that's never happened before because I don't use zombie units. So that was just, I don't know, it was funny. <laughs> All right. The stupid thing is dead. I just need to collect its loot, which is uh, easier said than done, of course. Um, Cause I gotta get all the way over there. Here you go, Olivia, I have a strength card that you're never gonna use. 
Um, we can go ahead and start beating up on this golem some more. Guess I'll start talking now. This is probably going to be an enormously long episode, but I saw the opportunity to go ahead and finish the game, so... Why the hell not? Might as well. Or not finish the game. Uh, fi finish, finish the dungeon. Uh, don't kill, please. That was my mistake. I forgot you had crit. I was like, oh, I can get him pretty low, so it'll make my job easier, but... Oh, well, no, yeah, you, you ought to pick up the stuff anyway. Okay, cool. So we got a, a Euros, which looks like a staff. Giegla's bow, dark spear, and Notos. Okay, that's four different things that we have going in here uh, to the final battle. Final battle, battle, battle. The recording is at four hours and five minutes, uh, if you were wondering, if you were curious at all. Okay, so we got these, which are fists. They give me judgment. Those might be pretty good on, uh, what's his face? Sweet Blade, the two-hand katana. Ooh, it gives you Hellhound. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty neat. It gives you three casts of Hellhound. Um, that's just a, just a strong bow. Euros is a hammer. Um, a pretty strong one at that. The Dark Spear gives you Paralytic Wave. That is interesting. And Notos is a two-handed sword that gives you three Deadshot Threes. Interesting, interesting. Um, I definitely think I'll give, uh, Murden this, just because it's cool. Um, and I definitely think I'll give, uh, Uhuk the, the dope hammer. That seems pretty neat. Um, and then the spear... I mean, the Damascus spear... It can replace the Damascus spear. Damascus spear isn't that great. So, there you go. That's a, a lot of extra damage for you, Sustina. Beautiful. And the two-handed sword... Not really worth it on anyone. I'm gonna be... Oh, no. No. You. You're currently using the headsman. This would be better for you. Yeah, just a little bit, but... Hey, it's something. Alrighty, so there's that. Um, now I need to use all of these charms. Um, I'm probably gonna use the strength charms on, like... Canopus or Denim. The dex charm's probably gonna go on Denim. Um... Int is probably going to go on, like, Sherry, if I had to guess, or maybe one of the other sisters. Um, Mind is, of course, going to go on Donalto, and HP Max is going to go on Donalto. Avoid's going to go on Donalto. Vitality's going to go on Donalto. All of that stuff's going to go on Donalto, because I don't want him dying, so... So we don't have to sit through me doing all of these again. I just thought I would say where I'm going to put them all. Alrighty. So, like I said, most of the defensive ones went on Donalto, as well as the Mind. The Intelligence, I split up between Surya and Olivia, and the Dexterity, I split up, split up between Canopus and Denim, and I gave Denim all the strength. So, there we are. Let's go ahead and move to the Altar of the Beyond. Vanquish the enemy leader. Perform an action to exercise an enemy and win without using Chariot Tarot. That is, uh... That's an ask. Um, alrighty, well, uh, I think I probably want Raynard in. Raynard can help us with the, uh, exercising that we are going to be doing. Um, as far as anyone else goes, not really sure. Eh, RSL. RSL. I think this is my squad. Um, I am gonna improve, like, your equipment. Cool, you have the stinky armor. And you have mage's mitts and a wand of air, because apparently I had another wand of air chilling around. Um, and then you, I've already given better stuff. Um, as far as everyone else goes, you, Leopold, could get better stuff. Oh, Leopold, rocking the sexy outfit. I see you, Leopold. I see you. Uh huh. Okay. Well, um. I think then what I want to do uh, now. Shit, there was one more thing I wanted to do. Damn it! What was it? It slipped my mind just like that. Um, 
Oh, oh, I think I remember. Okay, so um, I want to grab all the blessing stones from some of my other characters that I don't use um, and put them on the characters that I am using. Right, I have my party set up with uh, some of the things that I want there. Cool. You have the banish spell. All right, I think we're, I think we're looking pretty good here. Let's go ahead and get in with my very dead squad. Got a ghost, got a necromancer, and got a lich. Uh, oh yeah, let's cancel everyone's AI. All right, let's go. This might be a five-hour video. Ugh, but we're doing it, damn it. Ooh, that's lava. Impressive to come all this way. I half suspect you are led by the same dark that shadows my path. Did you know that I have discovered the purpose for which this temple was constructed? It was built for people like you. Ah, but I see you are not concerned with such matters. If you insist on playing the hero come to vanquish me, I shall be happy to act my part. Denizens of the Abyss! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've heard you say that about 60 million times, Nybeth. Let's just go ahead and do this, alright, nerd? I don't like you. You don't like me. You're ugly. Let's- let's get it over with. Summoning a lot of them are specifically, like, right around you. Wow, you're all gonna be crammed on that area in particular- Oh, okay, now some are coming on the bridge here. Mmm, gotta add some golems. And some dragons, huh? Oof. This, this is a very cramped fight. Ordained, you know. All is laid out upon the wheel of fate, free from the meddling hands of mortals. Okay, Vanquish Nybeth. You don't have a lot of HP, so it shouldn't be that hard to kill you. The question is, how many of your followers do I want to also kill? The main problem here is this battlefield sucks. Um, uh, now would actually be a very good time for the, the for the lava walking things. Um, there wasn't a way for me to scout the battlefield. I mean, I guess I could have looked at the map itself uh, as a way to see what the battlefield was like, but you know what I mean. So. All right, let's just, uh, work on these nerds. Good shit, Olivia. I'm probably gonna try and charm as many people as I possibly can with, uh, RSL as well. Uh, Saria, you can go ahead and... Hmm. Hmm. You actually just go over here. Yeah. Because, uh, I want this dragon dead. That'll be one less enemy to deal with. There's also no point in killing your allies, Nybeth, because you're just gonna summon more, I'm sure. Let's actually look at what you have, um, in particular here. You do have Summon Darkness, you have Life Force, Word of Pain 4, and Diablo Spite. You have Engulf, Silence Proof, Meditate. You have the Wiseman Staff, Balder Shield, Mage Trousers. Okay, you little dork. We're taking you out. Say your prayers, cause Denim's coming. Uh, sure, Denim, go ahead and do that. Extra damage on the dragon. Uh, Sherry's probably gonna be able to reach the boss with uh, Engulf, which will be nice. Um, luckily you don't have the Lich block magic thing. If you had that, that would suck. But, uh, you do not. Which makes my life a hell of a lot easier. Uh... Wait, did somebody just fall into the lava? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... No, okay, that was just the sound. They, they gave like a, ah, uh, Which, to me, usually is a death scream. But, uh, no, it seems like it was not, which is good. Charmed? Charmed! Thank you! You hit me in the face with a rock, but you're my friend now, and that's what matters. Okay, yeah, this doesn't seem so bad. Um, obviously, I'm scared of Nybeth, but he doesn't have the Putrefy thing, which is nice. Because that's obnoxious, and I hate it. But we don't have to worry about that. Um, not really much for you to do. 
And Canopus, just go ahead and get in there, friend. Start hacking away at this uh, golem. By the way, do the golems have Gordian Lock? They do not, surprisingly. Yeah, they're just rolling the uh, Rampart Aura and the Expand of the Rampart Aura thing. They really don't want you getting across this bridge, but unfortunately for you, I've been through a hundred floors... Well, not quite a hundred floors, but... I've been through many floors of the Palace of the Dead, so I have a lot of flying stuff. So, eat shit. I specifically put Raynard in just so I could have, uh... One, another caster, and two, someone else to, uh, banish, but... Um... I don't know if we're really gonna need it. Um... You also already had a Blessing Stone on you, so that's pretty nice, too. Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't want to fall in that lava, because I think the lava probably acts as a pit. If you fall into it, you just die. Terminator style. Ooh, nice parry. Belmont. What are you doing here, Simon? Or any of the, any of the other Belmonts. Doesn't particularly have to be Simon. Uh, you know what? You have the stupid magic leaf. Eat it. There you go. Wonderful. Okay, Mathai, you have no MP, so you're gonna have to gather some. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, Nybest's turn. He's doing things. No, don't- Oh, the charm. It's gone already. Damn it all. Uh, I, sh I should be able to just fly Denim right in there and take care of this pretty easily. Um, it would probably be a bit of a problem if I let the fight go on too long, but I am not going to let that happen. Uh, go ahead and get healed, Canopus. It's honestly a really suitable battlefield for me in particular. Uh, because I can kind of just sit back here and do this. Uh, who am I hitting here? Hmm. Could take out this dragon. Go ahead and do that. Boom, 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 boom. There we are. I actually don't think that would have finished it, if not for the crit, so... Yay, crit! They're hitting Denim. Sargish. Don't do it, Sargish. You don't want to do this. Ow. So, Sherry cannot reach the boss. You might have not had Engulf there, but still. Uh, that is unfortunate. Uh... That's pretty good, right there. Yeah, that's gonna do pretty good damage, Leopold. Go ahead and hit him with those Meteors. You dork some Meteor Strike, and I can Meteor Strike too. Okay. Denim. Load up on the MP. You're gonna need it here soon. And I pray you don't fall into the lava. I guess you're a flyer, so couldn't you just fly? And be good, hopefully. Hopefully the lava, if you get knocked into it, isn't just an instant, instant kill. That would suck. Uh, Meteor Strike, Banish Curse. Okay, you actually got... the Engulf, so... you could reach the boss? Yes. You do a whopping 67 damage to Nybeth. Um, not worth it in my opinion. Let's just, uh, work on clearing out the fluff here. Yeah, this doesn't seem too bad. It's obviously a very, very sketchy battlefield, but, um... I expected a ton of undead, Nybeth using Putrefy, and things like that. Uh... let's see here. That's pretty good damage. But... Probably better for me just to do, like, this. Let's get rid of these stupid golems. They're very annoying. Block in the way. Good stuff. Mathai, you have enough to do some stuff. It's 200 for you. I wish we could get some, uh, some good buff cards over here. I wish we could. Nybeth, Denim's coming for your ass. Oh! Owie! That hurt! Um, hmm. Pain. Pain. That was, uh, that was certainly painful. Uh, huh. Boom. Owie. No charm for me. Okay. 
Well then, uh, we're just gonna backtrack right over here, and yeah, just chill. Uh, Sherry's probably gonna want to do the same thing. Sherry's dead. Never mind. Uh, let's see, Canopus, I might be able to just... Let's see. Yeah, I do one of those on the golem. And then just run. Get in there. Get in there, you and Denim, the flyers. You got this. Owie. If RSL could get another charm, that would be fantastic. Would really, uh, would really help me out here. I almost killed your own buddy. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and just resurrect Sherry. If she gets some MP, I could just have her run up and attack Nybeth, actually. Uh, she did get MP. How much damage will you do? 92 with the potential of hitting four times, or I could play it safe and sit back here and kill these two. Um, mm, I don't know. The fight's going to be over as soon as I kill Nybeth, but it's not going to do that much damage anyway. Let's uh, let's chill back here and uh, let's just um, earthquake it. I'm going to hit Raynard here. Oh wait, no, I can I can do it on. Oh wait, no, but it'll counter me. I think Leopold has the thing where yeah. Ooh yeah, I don't want that. I think I think Leopold has the Lich buff, but uh, my other friend does not. There we go. Seria, you float, so you can go on the lava. Wait, can you not go on the lava even if you float? Huh. I mean, yeah, that does kind of make sense. Lava's still hot even if you're floating above it. But, um... Ooh, only 55% chance to hit you with that. Oh. Weird. Why 55% chance for Supernova? Oh well, I can hit you with Salamander. That's better damage anyway. Bang, bang. Eat shit, Nybeth. Okay. Okay. That is a dead shot. Painful. But Didim's turn is coming up. Uh, Mathai's turn is coming up. Ooh, you got an engulf. Eh, I'm not really gonna be able to do anything with that. Uh, I could do this though. 168 damage to Canopus, but I hit all of these doofuses as well. Let's just do this one. That way I don't hit Canopus. Bonk. Ooh, nice crit. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, Denim. You're in there, friend. Uh, can't quite reach the boss. You can throw magic at him, but uh, that's not worthwhile. Uh, spell charge, acid rain. Mm. Yeah, once I get a close enough for a heart crusher, that'll be good, but uh, I think I'm just gonna have you wait, Denim. Okay. Methai, what are you going to do? Beautiful. Um, probably be really, really easy to kill the boss just with the reflect. Like, reflect his own magic back at him if he dares hit one of my characters that have the reflect up. It would mess you up super bad. Oh my god. When the world was up in my throat there, my throat just died. Word of pain. Yeah, we're good. We're totally good. Denim and Canopus are about to just annihilate the boss, so... Olivia, let's take another sip of water. Uh, let's see here. Um, that's not bad on you. It'd be better on the dragon. Let's hit the dragon. A little bit more efficient. It's not as strong as the golem, even though the golem is close to dead. Okay, what are you doing? Are you gonna hit Denim? Oh, you're moving forward. Interesting. You just you just killed Leopold, that's it. Okay. I will take that. Um Be my friend? Nope. Alrighty. I tried. Uh Canopus. Yes, yes, yes. 246 or I can mantis strike to hit twice. Uh right. 
sleep sweeping motion. I think this hits twice, so. There we go, that's the damage we need. And now when Venom's turn comes around, that's battle over. And we have successfully, I can say I'm one of the people that has successfully conquered the Palace of the Dead. I feel like most people just get to this, they see it's 100 floors, and they're just like, fuck that. Actually, I know that's a thing, because multiple people have commented on this playthrough saying, uh, I got to the Palace of Dead and said, fuck that, so I'm watching you do it instead, so... Uh, I know it's a thing! Um, and all I can say is fair. It's, it's some work. It is some work. Absolutely... a job. Alright, Denim. You're gonna be able to go in and finish things, right? You didn't get pushed into the lava, so yeah, probably. Alright, here we are. Go ahead and finish it, Denim. Let's see, uh, would Double Fang be the best bet? Or probably Sanguine Assault. Sanguine Assault probably does more damage, yeah. Boom. Boom. Die, you old bastard. Yes! This is the dark. You're not going to be weird like Beezlebuff, are you? I am becoming one with you now. It is... It is ecstasy. Yeah, you are being weird. It's interesting, this dark that they keep talking about, like, um... Beezlebuff specifically talked about the idea that we're descended from demons, and it seems like Denim is special in some way. Um, but everyone talks about becoming one with me and stuff. Like, this has a ton of sexual connotations to it. <laughs> Both Beezlebuff and Nybeth talking about becoming one with me and stuff. Yes. The dark has chosen me. The bodies of the unwitting will be my vessels. I am... <gasps> immortal. Are you? There we go, now that was quite the death screen too. Both Beuselbuth and Nybeth got some got some pretty good death screams there. I got Daedalus Pinion, Daedalus Rack, Palace Guidebook 3, which is what I need to skip floors in the palace, and Secrets of the Master. Those seem pretty cool. And I did win without using Chariot Arrow. Unfortunately, all I got is Avoid Charms, but... Hey, something. You've gone as deep as you can for now. Return to the world map. Yes. Necromancer Scourge. Look at me. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta equip that. Come on, I've earned it. I've earned it. Oh, Denim's probably, Denim's probably like squinting at the sky right now. Like, ooh, what does sunlight look like? Uh, oh God. Okay, let's go see what this thing is. Um, so we got a few different things from that, yeah? Um, let's see here. What is... This video is already absurdly long, so we might as well just keep it going here. Um, yeah, the, the items that I got, what what is that? The, like, rack and stuff? What What were those? It's not a weapon. A helmet? No. What were those things? Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, there's the palace guidebook. So there are items. A gear fashioned by the master smith of the ancient dragon lords. Several different sizes and shapes of these are known to exist, though they are impossible to make with current techniques. So it's like a... it seems like it's like a key item, like I probably need this to access something. Straight line gear made by the master smith of the ancient dragon lords. So yeah, I got a Daedalus Rack and Pinion. I don't know what these are for. It's gears. I thought it was some kind of weapon or armor. Um, hmm. And then, uh, a collection of knowledge concerning the techniques used by Daedalus, Master Smith of the Ancient Dragon Lords, compiled by his disciples for the superior crafter. So, uh, let's go to the shop and see what in the world this is all about. Uh, I do need to sell some junk to get some money. All right, that should be enough money. So, craft. So what new things are available because of that? This is the question. Oh, here we go. The Daedalus Blade. 
I need Oracalcum. Okay, so the Daedalus Pinion and Daedalus Rack, I can only get those as drops by going all the way to floor 100, probably. And it seems like we can probably make, like, one special weapon with them. Well, the blade does not seem super, super crazy. Um, Daedalus Knuckles. I need Sky Iron. Those don't seem super wild either for something that's so incredibly difficult to get. Um, is there seriously not even a dagger? Oh, come on! There's not a Daedalus dagger? I can't even have... I can't, I can't even have Denim wield something that he can make because of defeating the crazy big bad. Sad. Grass Hewer Blade? That's new. Huh. The Dark Headsman. Oh, that's different. Okay. Yeah, because we got yeah, we got all those uh all those Incaridians. Um so Wow, is that really it? Is it fist and sword? Like one handed sword specifically? Huh. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be so. That... That's all it gives you. Okay. Uh, unless there's... Some sort of ranged weapon I can get. No, the data the Daedalus Bowgun. Um, okay. Once again, needs Oracalcum. Seems pretty strong. Okay, so Daedalus Bowgun... Indra's Bow. Uh, no bow uses it. Okay. Um, yeah, so nothing there. Daedalus armor, maybe? Daedalus shield? The Medusa shield. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. It needs a Gorgon head. And it gives you- Ooh, it gives you evil eye! That's that ability! Long range attack that petrifies multiple targets meeting the caster's spiteful gaze. Ooh, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Okay. Daedalus gauntlets? That seems like a massive waste. I mean, they're probably very good gauntlets, don't get me wrong, but... This is if you want to go in here... ...grinding up... ...all of this shit. Um... Daedalus... ...ring? No? No Daedalus ring. Okay, so that's... that's probably everything. Uh... Not sure what I'll use that for yet. But the option is there. I'll worry about that next time, because this video is... ...long. So... Hope you have enjoyed our journey through the Palace of the Dead, and I'll see you next time for some more.